I'm his uh, excuse me, everybody. I'm Arthur's assistant. I've been hired by the Alberian Sand Company to help him on this tour. He's uh, quite old. Um, he's a very ancient man. He's been doing this forever. Uh, so we just have to be a little bit patient. Now, uh, this is him. He's sleeping right now. He does sleep with his eyes open. It's been really odd touring with him with his eyes open. Um, you can turn the mic off. That's fine. I'll, I'll just get yeah. old. And uh, now I'm. To help assist Arthur uh, during this, I'll need the help of um, one volunteer Me. from the audience. Me. If, if I can just get like just Me. somebody, Me. somebody, <laughs> anybody like uh, like some like anybody at all want to do this? Because like, like I just need one person to. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, give it up for Gray, everybody. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know who this person is. Okay. And uh, so if you can just put one hand over his hand, and one hand in there, and then we're going to wake him up in a second, and he's going to guide you and direct you, and we'll stand up in a second. And now, Arthur's very old, and uh, the only thing that wakes him up when we're touring is uh, the sound of wolves howling, so I actually have his alarm set for that, or the need to pee, and that doesn't always necessarily wake him up. Um, so what we gotta do to wake him up is if I could get everybody to howl like wolves, actually. Make sure there's no gypsies in here. <laughs> no gypsies are always getting in the way of the Albanian sand company. Always trying to say tweets. Okay, thank you. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Arthur Whiskey Najarovich, and I am Albania's number one accordion player. And I have been sent here by the National Albanian Sand Company to tell you the folk, folk, the tales and folklore and legends of Albania and sell some sand, if you're interested. Uh, we're very good on that, Albiria. And uh, you don't know where Albiria is. Really, do they not teach you geography in this country, on the coast here? Albiria is right beside you, right over the great rocky mountains. It's, they don't teach this in this British colony? I'm really shocked. It's a very, very, very dry, sandy place of snow and sand, and very, 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 very flat. We have one mountain in the center of Alberia. It's also our capital city. We call it Ed Mountain. <laughs> Named after great Alberia warrior. Yes, Ed. Uh, now in Alberia, we have one major export. It is our beautiful Alberian sand. For centuries, kings and queens of the world would come to Alberia for our sand, for their beaches and sandboxes and hourglasses. Albidian sand is silky and smooth and runs off hand like a thousand Albidian soldiers ordered off cliff. We have very loyal soldiers in Albidia, but they're not very bright. Don't have a lot left. <laughs> Everything was grand in Albidia for many, many, many years. It was beautiful until a great windstorm come one year and blow away all the natural Albidian sand away. We had nothing. We had nothing we could do. We could not sell sand. We were devastated. But then the blessed, super awesome, wicked, cool, blessed Albanian National Sand Company come to us and tell us, hey, you got lots of sand. It's just like underground and it's covered in all this black, gooky stuff. And what we're going to do for you guys is we're going to like just rip up all your forests because we don't need that stuff. We'll just get rid of that stuff. And we'll dig up all the black, gooky sand. And then we're going to wash the sand in all your livers and rakes and stuff like that and clean it up. It's going to make a big mess. Really, it's gross. And we're going to go pipe all that black, gooky stuff. Get it out of here. We don't need it. We don't care. And then they give us the sand for free. Like, what a great deal. I will bless the Albanian Sand Company. They saved Albania many years ago for this. We, we owe them lots. 
And we only have one other commodity in Alberia. The fine Alberian goose. A feisty breed of goose taken from Alberia desert many, many years ago, accustomed to the harsh Alberian winters and the Alberian sands. And we make everything from goose. We make, we waste nothing at all. We make pens, clothes, shoes, iPhone covers, <laughs> pillows. Pillows are pretty easy, actually. And then when we're hungry in Alberia, we just eat our stuff. It's pretty cool. Now, Alberian goose has only one natural enemy in Alberia, besides a hungry or shoeless farmer. And that is the white Alberian wolf. A deadly animal that sweep down from dawn and snatch away goose fast and quick. It's horrible. We have to, we have to fight them a lot. But oddly enough, the white Albidian wolf also has one natural enemy in Albidia, the Albidian goose. Now you know, wolf against one, maybe two, three, four, five, six goose. Wolf still kicking butt. You know, no problem. But ten goose, take down wolf, no problem. It's pretty easy. I've seen wolf picked clean in 10 minutes by 30 goose. Many times wake up on goose farm in the morning and see wolf skeleton surrounded by a whole bunch of happy, well-contented, sleeping, well-fed gooses all happy around him. It's, it's a delicate balance, a good ecosystem. I really like it. Now, growing up on goose farm and hearing all that honking and racket and gooses talking to each other and singing, but oh yes, gooses can sing. It's very beautiful, you know. Uh, we have, and a very, 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 very smart animal. We have saying in Alberia, you can fool mama, you can fool papa, but you can't fool the goose. Oh no, oh, goose is very smart, yes. And now, listening to all the goose racket growing up, I think is what really made me like accordion so much in my life. And this accordion I'm wearing now is my papa's accordion. He was a great Alberian accordion player. Play all over Alberia, all over Saskatchewan, play in Republic of Manitoba. He played for King Ralph Kleinovich. Unfortunately, he died on a cruise ship in Winnipeg Ocean. He was horrible just after I was born. It was him, his accordion on a cruise ship with 200 migraine sufferers. We don't know how he died. It was really odd. It was mysterious. Some suspect foul play, but I really didn't think there were any gooses on board. It's, it's odd. Anyways, my mama, Gordita, she blamed accordion for Papa's death. And she put it high up on shelf and she never talked about it. I didn't even know it made noise most of my life. I thought it was a toaster oven, actually. Until one day, Mama Gordita, we call her Gord for short, beautiful Albanian woman. She can hit wolf straight in eye with goose from 100 yards. She's getting up there and getting down her good Sunday goose shoes for church when she knock accordion off shelf and make horrible racket. Like 50 gooses being run over by steamroller. I was instantly in love. Mama cursed the great one. Wayne Gretzky, she said. I've never heard Gord swear before. It's horrible. She took a cordine away and put it up in the loft and forbid me to touch it. But it was too late. I was already bitten. So a few nights later, when Gordita was drunk and sleeping off too much goose nectar, I sneak up into the loft, I take a cordine, and I go out into a bitty night to play. And there was the moon waiting for me smiling, as if she knew it was her job to patiently teach and lull all accordion players into the dreamland we enter when we play. And so I did. And it was awful. It was terrible noise. It sounded like 50 gooses making love in small pen with someone throwing pegs of sand onto them periodically. Terrible noise, but I kept trying, I kept trying. But through this noise I hear another sound. A growling sound. I opened my eyes and there in front of me was the biggest white Albanian wolf I had ever seen in my life. She's snarling and angry. I don't think she liked my accordion playing very much at all. And before I had time to register this beautiful deadly moment that's happening in front of me, the wolf pounced on me and put her jaw around my neck. I just let go. I didn't fight it. 
I just gave in to the moment. But that is at the same time that me and Wolf were startled by what sounded like another really bad accordion player, only vengeful and angry, with a thousand red eyes and a taste for blood. The gooses were attacking. <laughs> I made direct eye contact with the wolf as the first wave hit him. And I felt sorry for this killer beast as our world turned into a hurricane of webbed feet and feathers. And the gooses were merciless with the wolf. They tortured him, they beat him, they poke him, they bite him. One time, one time they hold him down, one goose get up, bite off tail, and then go up on the other side and pee on wolf head. <laughs> then they let the wolf go, I think to make example of him to others. Very horrible experience. I sit on my haunches in complete shock. And all the gooses come around me looking concerned. And, and very carefully come to me. And one goose come up and he nudge my hand with beak. He had a little bit of wolf fur still in beak, which is kind of freaky. <laughs> and he nudge my hand as if to say, to play a chord in again. And so I stand up. And surrounded by five or six hundred gooses, all smiling at me. Yes, gooses can smile. The moon tilts her head and winks. And I begin to play. And I just let go. I didn't fight it. I just gave in to the moment. And it was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you much to Gray for helping me and assistance. And if you want to buy some sand, please come to me. We have lots of sand in Alberia for sale now, so please come and buy it. You got to come pick it up in Alberia, though. It's a long trip. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bravo!